Hey, hello all. Welcome to the session on how the work gets started in IT. So in this session, I'd like just give you some set of tasks which you generally come across once you get into IT. So some of the steps, you know, which apart from my experience, I just mentioned here, like how exactly the careers get started, you know, like at this particular discussion is all about like once you get an offer, like how exactly that work gets started in your IT career. So assume that you got a you got an offer letter, you join a company, and on the day of joining, generally call it a joining day or induction, where you have to submit all your mandatory related documents, your government ID cards, your carry documents, and once everything is validated, they will just give a stamp of giving an employee ID, and you will get in a corporate email ID, right? And after that, you will have some set of mandatory trainings that again depends on the company. It may be two months, one month, six months on project. So in some companies, what they do is they just give one week training and the remaining they give you on job training rather than a separate training. They just give you everything on on project real time practical training. Some companies give a dedicated six months training and they will evaluate and based on the result, they will retrain you. And again, based on that, based on your particular score, they may assign you according to your project, according to the skill set, which you are best suited for. Right. So like a. Like uh, generally, if you consider from India, like uh, the B.Tech graduation, you are you may have a different set of disciplines, or maybe if you come come from a B.Sc background or M.C.A background, whatever the background it is. So in IT career, you have a projects of different domains. It can be a health sector, it can be banking sector, it can be financial sector, it can can be what you call a supply chain sector. So the large number of sectors will come into picture. That's the reason the software companies take the individuals from different set of domains, so they don't restrict a particular domain selection during intake of the employees that's the main reason of taking the taking the developers on i mean the what you say the job developer from different set of backgrounds when i say developer it doesn't mean it's just a technical developer just assume that employee of an it so employee of an it can be from a different set of domain right so now once you finish your training, like a general, like when before getting into the project, you'll have all most of the companies they give a set of mandatory trainings or mandatory certification has to be finished before getting into a project. After that, what will happen is like a generally, like a, most of the companies, what they do is they join a set of individuals, a group of individuals on a particular day because they have some set of tasks to be done, right? So rather than rather than taking each individual employee on every day, what they do is like in a given particular week. They'll assign a specific day for joining day kind of thing. And they take like group of people rather than individual and group of people will be taken on a given day. And then the project selection will happen. So they like some particular projects which are which may be a very critical. What they do is even you'll have a project selection text test also. They want to validate your skill set before they get before they assign your project. That also may happen. And also they will validate your and your interest, like uh, some set of projects, you know, where you have to work on night shifts if you're not comfortable, right? So they will validate whether your interest sometimes, or they may not give you a choice also. In some time, in some of the companies, they will not give you any choice. They simply say that you have to work in this project. This is a timeline. There is no other, al there is no other alternative kind of thing they'll tell you. So again, depends on the organization. Okay. So project selection you know like when you get when you so in the generally what happens is when you start with a particular project so that's where they generally decide your technology in some organization you know like you can change your technology at any later point of time but in some organization what they do is once you got into a particular project they'll assign your technology and you have to work on the on that technology only throughout your career in that particular company in some companies what they do is they'll allow you to switch a technology from one technology to another technology so maybe like a, as this is this particular session is all about the initial IT career, so you may not under you may not have clarity on what technology mean, right? So I mean to say, like you know, like uh, if you consider the programming language, right? Like Java, you have .NET, PHP, or HTML, JavaScript, database, ERP. So the, I'm just talking about these set of technologies, right? Let us say you're working in AWS, and initially when you got an assigned to aws project obviously like throughout your career maybe you will be best suited for amazon aws products rather than gcp products similarly let us say if you're working on oracle erp from for your career so mostly you'll be continuing your particular total job in the erp product of oracle only let us say you got assigned to a .NET project so mostly what you prefer to do is you prefer to expand your skill set in .NET rather than getting into java again right so that's how it is. So initial selection is very important. 
and of course you will change it at later point of time also like i have seen many developers who change their total career after 5 years after 4 years after even 10 years also but make sure that you decide the things appropriately sometimes it may not be in your hand so you just need to have patience and understand the breadth of it so at initial stages you may not understand you know like whether a particular technology is good or bad right so everything is a learning so you need to have a patience and you know like you always have a choice to change the technology it doesn't mean that like let's say you started with a c pro c++ project and you know like uh, you, you may say you may feel that you know like there is no scope of changing the technology at later point of time it's nothing like that so it all depends upon your understanding your skill set your expertise so you always have a choice of changing the skill set so that you have to take it but initially you may not have a particular uh, what selection of technology or selection of project okay next so in a project generally it's kind of in hierarchy the execution happens like uh, you'll have a delivery manager you'll have a project manager under project manager you'll have a team leads and the team leads will have a set of developers or individual consultants whatever it is right so you will be assigned to a particular project and generally we'll have a project we'll have a project manager a project manager will have a set of team leads working under that and so you'll be you'll get assigned a lead so who will take care of your assign who will take care of assigning a task for you so as this will be a first project so you may not understand how exactly to start with right so generally this is where the on project training will start so you may not understand like how to work uh, you may know you may know a particular programming language you may know a particular you may know you may have a logical logical knowledge or technical knowledge of a particular functionality to be achieved but you may not sure like what is the naming convention to be followed which particular server to be followed how do you access it right so that's where you know like a project induction document will be there so in your particular project like once you got assigned to your particular task so the project team will give you induction about saying that like uh, what is this project is all about who are the team who are the team members and for which access uh, for which access you, to whom you have to reach out so you have a project induction document and then like generally like in any project what will happen is like you they will call it as once you got in the project they, they call it as a billable role right so like uh, why it is called billable role because like uh, generally like in most of the organization what they do is they'll try to validate the profitability of each and every project like uh, how much expenses are getting incurred in a particular project and what is the profit they are getting and you know like there are different set of projects again like a project types will be there like a fixed bread projects ams projects implementation projects so there are different kind of projects will come into picture based on the organization understanding with your client okay so then that is where the time shifts come into picture in some organization they will try to validate like you have to work 45 hours per week or 40 hours per week you may have a swipe swipe in and swipe out again it depends upon the organization culture then coming to the interesting part so like uh, at this point you'll understand why you will find good amount of attrition in it companies i'm not sure about other organ other particular sectors but generally in it organization any bigger company you take any organization you'll have a good amount of attrition of course they will not give you this information outside they will not tell officially like what is their attrition rate okay but generally this is what happens so there could be n number of reasons it could be salary hike reason it could be a designation it can be a technical uh, skill set not uh, technical skill set or a growth or a or on site opportunity offshore opportunity or maybe your dislike of your colleagues or dislike your manager and ego issues the lot number of things will come into picture in the performance reviews and that's where you know you will be switching your job and getting a new company and that's 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 what happens so these are only few steps you may find n number of things but i just want to highlight few steps you generally come across in it career thank you